All right, today we're just doing Brembo front brakes. I've got to do front and rear on this car. We've previously done rear on the Mark III, which is the same process. So when we're filming this, it'll just be front. Uh, we're just using factory run the mill Brembo discs, factory run the mill Brembo pads. So pretty good for street use. Not really something I would use for track use myself. I would use a, a more upgraded pad, maybe a slotted disc, just to get rid of the heat. But just run you through how to do this because. People struggle with the clips a lot, it seems like a lot of phone calls on that one. So, yeah, tools used 3 8 ratchet, short 3 8 extension, 7mm Allen key on a 3 8 drive, 15mm deep socket on a 3 8 drive, short flat blade, long flat blade, wire brush, giant pair of grips, dead blow hammer. Hook for hanging the caliper and a torque wrench, and then obviously a 90 mil socket and an impact gun for the wheel nuts. First thing you got to do, either side obviously, then open the bonnet. Brake fluid reservoir is under here. You want to crack this cap off. Now brake fluid's corrosive, so if somebody has topped this up, the fluid's going to spill over when we push the pistons back. So you just want to grab a rag, saturate it in water. And just put it right there on top of the engine. So brake fluid's corrosive, but as soon as it comes into contact with water, it neutralizes it. So if you do spill any brake fluid, just pour water over it. Got a damp rag, we're sweet. All right, first thing you can do, lift the car up, take the wheels off. Okay, so we're gonna remove this caliper spring, hold on the top and the bottom and then here in the middle. This middle bit is held onto the rail, but it also goes through the pad retaining clip. So you want to take a flat blade, put it in between the pad and the clip, lift it out like that. Do guard it with this hand. If you don't, flick you in the face. Trust me, it hurts. Next, because these discs have got a bit of a lip on them, the caliper won't just come straight off. So we've just got to push it back a bit. So it's easiest if you just turn it, take a good flat blade, you want to get it between the caliper and the disc. Now this can be a little bit challenging sometimes. Nope. Get right in between there. And you just need a little bit. Just a little bit. There you go, nice and loose. Okay, so you just have these dust covers here and here. Just want to flick them out just with a flat blade. That gives you access to the Allen key bolts. So you just put the socket in there. Come out. Take the caliper off. And just hang it off. Let's start. Don't leave it hanging on the line, otherwise you'll kill the line. Now we want to take these off. Take your carrier off. We need to pull our brake dust off. And with your carrier, it's going to have a load of brake dust built up in there, so you just want to put it over a bin, grab a wire brush, and give it a good clean. Like that. Now, with your hub, if you're in the UK, you will definitely have to clean this because this loves to corrode and rust. In Australia, they're not too bad. If you're in the UK, uh, as soon as you go hard with the wire brush, you need this to be flat with no high spots, otherwise the disc won't sit flush on it and it'll, it'll run untrue and it'll give the symptoms of like a warped, warped disc. Um, so you do something like that, off around it. But over here, we don't really have rust issues, so literally just a wire brush. And we're good. Now, with this car, there's actually plenty of meat left on the pads. We were actually doing this whole job because the owner needed some pads, slapped in it quickly, and there weren't any discs available. So his discs are actually undersized. So that's why we're changing the whole lot. And we said, hey, look, if let's film it. We'll just fit it for nothing for you. So you've now got to push the piston back into the caliper. Obviously, when the pads are a lot more worn, it's a lot more further out. You can buy a pad spreader tool, or if you're just at home and feeling cheap, you can just use a pair of grips. 
So if you're going to use grips, obviously you don't want to do this when it's painted caliper. If it is, put a rag on there. You will leave your old pad in there and basically just squeeze slowly. And you can pull your pad out and you see that piston's retracted all the way in. We tend to do it with the old pad in there just so the, the teeth don't damage it. Pop the outer one out, just like that, and just give this a good clean up with a wire brush again. Hang the brake caliper back up on its hook, so it's out of the way. A new brake disc, Brembo spray theirs with like an oil spray, so you just want to pop it on backwards. Grab some brake cleaner and a clean rag and just spray it all with brake cleaner. This just takes that anti-rust coating off, otherwise it will kill your pads. Flip it around the right way now. Spin a wheel nut on. All the way, this just holds it dead flat. Now we can refit our carrier. So you've got an inner, outer. You always know that's the outer one because of that tang there. These are pretty firm, so you've got to kind of like line it up and then squeeze. And it'll stay in like that. With the outer one, similar sort of deal. It's going to come through this hole. So you just feed it in. There you go, so it's just good like that. And now we're just going to take some more of that high temp lube. And you're just going to put a bit where the pad makes contact on the rail. So it's this outer bit and then this bit here. So not a lot. Just a little bit. Okay, now we can take our caliper out. Make sure all the brake lines not twisted. And you just want to offer it up to the carrier until it slots all the way home like that. Put our two bolts in by hand. Put our dust seals back in. Now this is the bit everybody always struggles with it seems. Got a tang there, a lip there, and a hole there. This is going to end up in that hole, but for now we just want to rest it against the ridge. So, put the top it in. Line that middle bit up against the ridge. Guard the clamp, or sorry the spring, with your other hand in case it pings off. You're just going to push this forward. It's just on the ridge like that, okay? So that's not all the way in, it's nearly there. Keep guarding it with one hand in case it pings off. Take a flat blade, put it on the tang of the clip, and a nice little dink with a hammer. Ready? Now pull it out, and see it's locked in all the way. So it's in all the way there, in all the way there, locked in there. That's the way to do those. So now you can do the other side, put both wheels on, torque all the wheel nuts up, Pump the brake pedal before you try and drive anywhere because the first time you hit the brake pedal is going to go to the floor. So pump the brake pedal up, check that fluid level.